Hello everyone, it's Luke here with Anti Shanty and we are at Overland Expo West in Flagstaff, Arizona. We are looking at a Anti Shanty Pro that has some cool features on it that we can take a look at and kind of give you the runaround. So yeah, to start outside here, we've got the 180 degree awning, also the kitchen box that serves as more than just the kitchen box. You can put all sorts of things in there. Uh, as you can see, any, any type of gear that fits in there seems to work well. Nice little shade section here, entry step. We can walk in, take a look. As we come in here, it sort of opens up into the galley. This is the place that we like to hang out and cook and sort of get dressed, change, do all the things in as we're at camp. Uh, it's got the countertop with the built-in diesel heater and cooktop, which provides heat and a cooking surface for inside. And we also have our fridge freezer combo. You can run it however you'd like there. And yeah, it's got all sorts of different little features built in. We've got some Molly panels with just the knickknack organization that comes with being out on the road. It gives you the ability to sort of keep that stuff contained and in a quick accessible place. Queen bunk up top over here. Queen bunk on the bottom over here as well. Uh, plenty of space underneath both of those queen bunks to house all sorts of gear. Uh, you can put mountain bikes slid underneath there on their sides. There's tons and tons of space in here. Uh, A-frame roof gives you all sorts of space up here to kind of have plenty of plenty of room. You got nine and a half feet of cathedral ceiling in here. Queen bed up top can be fully removed so you have more overhead space if you're traveling without the need for two bunks. And yeah, lots of cool stuff in here. This is our Molly panel system. Uh, we use uh, straps that hold them in nicely. The ability to just quickly take gear on and off and also have it not bouncing around when you're traveling is, is uh, great for many reasons. We typically run just either the two and a half gallon tanks or the uh, five gallon tanks. We also have a five gallon jerry can here that has some filtration on board as well. Uh, it gives you the ability to just dump it into the river stream lake and then pump out into your uh, water container so yeah that's how we do the water situation here it's pretty simple one of the benefits to that system is not having to winterize it but we do offer a uh, onboard water system as well with a sink built into the countertop and 30 gallons of pumped onboard fresh water yeah so back outside here we've got the off-road package on this which comes with bfg all-terrain tires on some American racing rims with the Timbrin independent axle suspension underneath. Uh, four jacks that are all rated for more than the weight of the trailer itself. So they're not just a, a jack to stabilize, they're a jack to actually level the trailer. A couple neat features that are kind of tucked away is the spotlights, scene lights for exterior lighting. When you're out at camp in the woods, you can really light this whole section up with those lights there. As we work around the back here, you're asking about water. How do you get a quick fill of water? There's another uh, easy solution to it. Keep it simple. It's what we like to do. There's the queen bed from behind. Uh, integrated ramp slots in the frame of the trailer. There are two full length ramps inside the frame right now. And yeah, you can fully remove that lower queen bunk to have your motorcycles or mountain bikes or whatever. We've got another trailer over there that we can show you. Road shower out here gives us uh, another option for water that I did not mention earlier. A little pressurized system gives you the ability to just quickly do some dishes or whatever out here. We like to put our sink, our little collapsible sink on that fender table there. Gives us a good space for that. Roto packs for extra diesel off the front, spare tire. And yeah, what else? The tongue is either fully removable or can be slid into an indexed position there to allow for a uh, smoother walk around, more space in the site. Check this out over here. We've got moto loaded up, bike loaded up, the bed panels lashed up against the side here. Gives you, yeah, all sorts of different options. Depends on how you like to play outside, but we've got sort of a different configuration for all sorts of different folks. 
Yeah, so here's another one that has less stuff in it. This is how it's gonna come from the factory, essentially. We've got the kitchen box here, step, additional step. Inside here, this has uh, just some cleaning supplies on the one panel of Molly there and a couple extra bags. But this is kind of how it's gonna look when it comes from the factory. This one has the AC unit on it. We do an AC unit option. Yeah, so the windows are super neat. They are indexed and allow for sort of an awning style closure. So we leave them open when it's raining, no water intrusion from that. Uh, there's also a full blackout curtain, as you can see in the morning sun, completely blocks out all that. And then an integrated bug screen as well with some dust in there, <laughs> might need to blow those out. But uh, yeah, it's they're, they're fantastic windows. We really like the size of them when they're all opened up and the roof vent is on. You can have it kind of closed up when it's raining and it still provides plenty of fresh air ventilation. So they're just a quick, easy two-part snap system just like that. You're now in, uh, you can hear how much quieter is in here instantly. It's now sort of a cabin, a little safe, comfortable space for heavy weather or you know, being in heavy woods with animals. It's another factor that we really like. We have lights everywhere as well uh, that you can turn on for when it's dark out or when you have it all closed up. But yeah, that's essentially the, the rundown of the anti-shanty. This is our uh, all things panel. It's got the indicator for the battery, the charge rate from your solar, also uh, the onboard system. So exterior lighting, interior lighting, uh, undercarriage lighting, inverter, got a couple USBs and 12 volt plugs here. And then there are also, you might want to look at these as well, 12 volts, or excuse me, USBs as well throughout the rest of the cabin up here. One there, one there, and one in the back. So a total of eight USBs. Keep all your devices charged. So uh, prices range from anywhere from around 30,000 upwards to 65,000, depending on how you configure it. We have an online web builder that you can get online and check out, configure your unit how you'd like. And if there's anything in between that you see that you'd like to give us a call and see if you can omit or delete or add to it, we're always improving the product and, and looking for ways to meet our customers' needs. So yeah, let us know. So is, is 30,000, is that empty? That is empty. Yeah, that's the base unit. So we like to think of that unit as sort of a sprinter cargo van. Uh, it's the chassis that you need. It's the structure. And you can build that out as you see fit. It comes with the queen bunk and the countertop. No electronics whatsoever. So it's a blank slate for you to start creating from. So the Pro comes standard with Dometic, Solar, and uh, lit full lithium, 200 amp hours, exterior lighting, the whole, the whole kit, uh, AC, you can delete, like I said, and add some of those things to different units, but yeah, they come they come everywhere in between. We still have availability for uh, 2022 at this point in time. That's subject to change as those dates are rolling. So you can find out more uh, at antishanty.com. We also have some YouTube stuff on Anti Shanty USA.